What's up guys? My name is Slip and welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. I know uh, I said we were gonna explore those things, but I think we're actually gonna start this episode just by doing some farming and taking care of these guys because uh, yeah, he, he, they're not doing as hot as they could be. He's uh, yeah, so we're gonna handle that first. We're gonna start with this after I sell stuff. So if you guys don't remember, last episode um, we were just messing around, getting used to the world and uh, taking care of the Gordos, and we actually, as a result of our actions, unlocked some interesting features, such as a gate with a t or a tabby gate and some glowing beam. We don't know what either of those are, but uh, yeah, so I think it just got a little more interesting. And now they're all fed and happy. They'll calm down, hopefully. Now it comes to collecting quartz. I'm not gonna do that manually. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put now. I can't afford that yet. Hold on. I'm speaking too soon. I'm not paying attention to my funding. No wonder my bank account is dry in real life. Um, so let's actually buy this thing. Just make it easier. So we don't have to manually go in there, try to get buy them all, and collect quartz. So this was talking about the whole Largo thing. Look, we already got a lot of quartz just from them, which is much, much more than we would get if they weren't um, the Largos. So I think it definitely was worth um, buying that upgrade. Really speeds things up and keeps us, you know, um, with money to buy upgrades and things we need. So yeah, definitely worth doing. Highly recommend doing that. The only problem is when you spam the market with them, the market actually devalues those plots. So, we're gonna get some variety in our plots soon. Actually, what can I buy for the garden? Okay. So, some neat options here. Cool. We will come back for that later, though. I think for now, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. I, oh, yeah. You know what I'm thinking about now? I realized I'm basically selling manure, aren't I? Because this is how I'm not gonna analyze it. I don't want to analyze it. I feel if I analyze it, I'm gonna regret it deeply. So that's what I want to mention, guys. I went, as I was watching the last episode, I kind of realized I was being a little bland, a little uh, monotone. So I'm gonna try to keep it more energetic, just because I feel like you know it's more fun to enjoy the game if. You know, you're not listening to some guys like talking like this the entire time because it's a fun game and I feel like this is... A... No, no, I'm gonna try to get it a little more energetic, a little more upbeat, just because I feel like it's more fun and I definitely want to try to bring that type of energy to this, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit better, guys, a little out of my comfort zone, but hey, that's what this is all about, right? Oh my god, Mochi! Oh, okay! What do you know? Beatrix LeBeau... Should I, should, should I do a higher pitch for this? I don't know. We're going to stick with it for now. If I feel like it needs to be higher pitch, I will try to do higher pitch for Mochi. Well, you know, Beatrix LeBeau off on, on another adventure and didn't think to take a good pal, sometimes rival, and forever mentor Mochi Miles. Seriously, B. Next time you go running off to dangerous, uncharted territory, could you at least give me a heads up? I'd like to be there for you in case you need me to help collect all those valuable resources that seem to be scattered all over the island. What, you think I was going to do a little recon on my own? What, good, what, good our surveillance is, Sal, uh, I can't talk, ugh. Look at our surveillance satellites if they can't snoop on stuff. Anyway, be careful out there. The island gives me kind of weird vibe, so I'm gonna keep poking around. Oh, and since I know you're starting from scratch out there, take this refinery link. Should make things easier for you. I'll just put it in your tab later. Later. In my tab. Okay, so they keep giving me these things, but I'm not seeing them. Hold on, let's go to a cat. In my tab. Where are they sending them? Because Victor gave me a home portal, and now Mochi is giving me a refinery link. Oh! Okay. 
Oh, okay, so well, you mean the recipes. Okay. That explains that. Cool. And, let me just, yeah, I was gonna say, it's gonna tell me to look at the refinery now, right? Okay. Gotcha. Okay. That explains those things. I was very confused as to what um, I received from Victor. But now I understand. I just wasn't reading or paying attention. Cool. Yeah, Mochi had a really cool um, appearance in the last game where she kind of presented a... It was an FPS style thing. So basically you ran through and as you were running through, you were supposed to shoot the silver slimes? Silver fish slimes with electricity to get them to drop their ports and you would collect the ports and the more ports you had... The more you unlock. I said plort a lot in that sentence. I don't know if I want to say plort that often. To be completely honest with you guys. That's a lot of peas. And you know what they say. Mind your peas and peas. That, that felt very teacherly of me. I'm so smart. I'm a genius. Oh yeah. So yeah. Um, I thought farming was going to take us longer. I think what we're going to try to do is actually get some more slimes in the... Uh, uh, the uh, building that we're in. I forget what it's called. It, it told us it too, and I don't remember. That is very much my bad. I'm gonna have to look at what it's called. I think it was some of the C. It. I'll. I'll um, I don't remember. I'm. Oh god. That looks good. Is there a tar around here? Why is the music gone so serious? Alright, so we're gonna have to find some tabbies, I think. Just trying to do that. Oh, oh, oh. Where'd he go? No. Ah, ah, ah. Give me. Yes. Where'd he go? Where did, where did he go, actually? I lost track of him really quickly. Oh my god. I'm so upset over that. It's really fine, guys. Actually, you know what? We're gonna start off. We are gonna go to that place. Because we have tabby ports right here. I know, I'm being very... I guess I'm not being that scattered. I guess I just shifted the plan a little bit. Oh god, more time. Yeah, I... Okay, nope, too many. I should buy the water upgrade so I can actually shoot water at these guys. Because that... That kills them. And that's very helpful. For, uh, dealing with them. So, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Not to get a water upgrade and a jetpack because I keep dying by falling off the ledge like a complete clown. It's fine. Okay. Cool. Oh, really? Okay. I was expecting more than just that money and a pink slime okay i'm gonna i'll be right back i'm gonna quickly go dump out my inventory back at the uh thing i quickly ran over and sold all the ports and stuff especially the gold port um yeah it wasn't as much as i thought but you know hey i'll take it it's it's money and I'm a little broke, so it's fine. Use that fabric to upgrade the tank's Vax tank guard? Why do I need a tank guard? That would assume that I'm getting... That's kind of unnerving, actually, to learn that I'm getting a tank guard upgrade. I feel like I should be scared now. Am I wrong to be scared? I think I should be scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. Also, I just realized how much depth there are in the chickens. What? It's crazy. Yes, I just fed him to there as I was like complimenting chicken quality. Okay. Alright, so me personally, I don't really buy the scare slime because you don't really need it. Nothing really comes up close enough to do it. Your farms are never in areas where the ram slimes can get to it. Especially, I mean... Like, what? There's the one little slime over here and he's not coming close enough to get anything so i don't really worry about it so 
I say skip on the scare slime. It's not really necessary. It's neat. You don't need it though. Just print it out there now. So now if we grow a lot faster, so I can feed these guys a proper amount and really start cranking out some cash on them. So yes, it can get very farmy. Why did he fly? Why did he just fly over here from nowhere? That's more terrifying than actually fighting him. How did he do that? Why did he do that? That is, that is so much worse. Because there's no answer to that question now. Frankly, in my opinion, the vault was not really that interesting. Definitely a bit of a letdown. It's fine. We still got other stuff we can do. Other things we can check out. So I think it works out. Another hen, stony hen. Here you go. Give me ports. Ah, she's clutching. Those stripes, that tail, that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> I love that description. All right, that's definitely something to write home about. That was that was funny. Where is another Gordo? Okay, we're we'll, we're we'll really finding these guys. Might as well just uh, put some points into him right now. Get him going. In fact, we can probably get rid of him pretty quickly. And Relatively speaking. Okay, so that's, a di that's probably a different area based on that column. Which has a funny look to... Oh, is this what we took down? I wonder if that's what we just took down. Okay, well now we gotta go check it out. Now we gotta go see what's going on over there. Because now that I've seen that, like, that's a teaser to what I probably did by accident. I did my I really want to know what I did now because I didn't see it again. I did it without even realizing I did it. Right. I still can't believe like I run like a like a linebacker. Like there's a full charge to my run now. It's not like a jog. Like, it is a full. I'm blitzing somebody. <laughs> I feel bad for these slimes. Like, just imagine getting ran into, like, at full speed. And, uh... Oh, well. Yeah, so that's definitely what I did. It was that big spire thing. So now, people won't get upset by not knowing what I did. We activated the spire. Whoa. We haven't even explored this little area yet. What tree is that? Okay. Oh, and these connect. Okay. I think we can have them What's in? Oh, cool. Another one of these. Okay, so it seems like all those are just like upgrades and decoration blueprints, not really items. Which isn't bad, it's just not expected because that's another one I'm gonna like mention. So, like last game, you could find those and they had actual like ingredients and usable things. Whereas now they don't. So it's very interesting to see that disappearance of, like, that factor. It's not upsetting. I'm not really, like, annoyed over it, but I'm definitely, like, surprised by that. So. Definitely an interesting change that they made. Or maybe it's just because I haven't found any that should give you items yet. I don't know. We have yet to see. We still have quite a bit more of this game to play. How is there... Why haven't you disappeared yet? Because phosphorus can't be out at night. Am I wrong about that? Can they be out at night? Oh! Oh, okay. I, I can actually open it. Phosphorus slimes come out at night, flying about the moonlight range upon their translucent wing. Moonlit range. Phosphorus slimes have a luminescent slime core that pulses with a soft glow, making them easy to spot. It's for this, this reason ranchers refer some refer to them as the low stars. Phosphorus slimes have special needs compared to your typical slime. A phosphorus slime in its plorts will quickly vanish if exposed to sunlight, meaning a rancher could quickly lose an entire corral's corral's corral 
Crowsworth of Foster Slimes if they're not careful. Wretches must either back them up before daybreak or keep Foster Slimes in a place that's perpetually dark like a cave. Okay, so I'm gonna actually give him the favor before he gets um, put out like a candle and just into the darkness he goes. Do him that favor, you know. We'll put the tabbies right over here in this corner. This nice sunlit corner, because we all know cats look sunlight. Ba, 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 ba. Cool. There we go. I have to get chickens now. I have to get a coop going. What can you build? Incinerator, pond, and that's it. Okay. The archway. Yeah, these are things we'll have to get later on. Not long. That chicken is really just sprinting. Right, like that, that was like he was he was going for it. He was he was running. He was going full force. Alright. I think it's time for us to check out that teleporter spot. I don't think the tabbies will get out of hand. I think they've eaten recently enough to really be fine. I'm not worried. I probably should be, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Let's go this way. I know I said we're gonna check out that portal, but I think we're actually gonna check out this area because I noticed one thing that really stuck out to me. And that was this. It's different, and on top of it, there shows a, like, skull and crossbone thing. So I'm wondering what's over here. Because that's what we need ferals, but why? What's going on over here that makes it of interest? Okay, so far, not really nothing notable. Just another one of these pods. Cool. Hydro turret. Okay, that's really good, actually. That's really good one to get. Um... 14 of these, so. Got three. That was really close, in my opinion. Um. Okay. I wonder if I. I. Okay. Never mind, I guess we're not really gonna explore that too much. Now I want to that we can do right now. So I guess we will be going over to the portal to check out what's going on over there. Alright, let's check this out. Oh, okay. Starlight Strand, a vision of dusk and dawn together as one. Oh, okay, so there's a gate here, so we can access this from another point. Okay. Very pleasant looking area. Very nice and sweet looking. Yeah, let's check it out. Alright, more cottons, yeah. No, nothing too crazy. Nothing new. It's just a beautiful area. Is that okay, so we don't want to shoot something at the hive and just like see what happens. I probably shouldn't want to shoot it, but we're gonna shoot it. Bang. No, okay, nothing happens. Oh, it's a, it's a harvestable. Okay. Harvestable, is that the right way to say that? Oh, there's a dirt plate. This water is safe, that's not. It's just one of those. Oh, hey, okay. I'm gonna call these fireflies, that's what we're calling for now. Accessing GG log. The prison waves seem to be seem to affect each area on the island differently, expressing a full spectrum of color in some places, but alternating between or splitting the spectrum in others. And they actively change, sometimes quickly and constantly, others more slowly. In my first year here, every season looked different to me. It was lovely while it lasted. Okay, cool. It's weird, I, I, like, the, the way they're doing the lore in this game, it seems like it's trying to hint that something happened. And I'm very curious as to what happened here, because... Slime Rush has never really talked about, like, an uglier side of it. It's always been, like, the land's beautiful, it's very nice, very clean. 
Whereas now it's like presenting this grimmer side. Oh, honeycombs, okay. Oh, we're gonna find honeycomb slimes here? That'd be really cool. Right, let's look around then. Let's, let's, let's dig in. Okay. There you are. I kind of... It's weird, you can tell the difference between this rock slime in this game and the last game. I don't know if it's an improvement. I don't think it is. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that they kind of... I think they took out too many rocks from him. I think that he was better when he had the rocks in his head. Or the, the amount of rocks he had in his head. I still love the little guy. It's just... I'm noticing that difference, and I think it's a little upsetting to see. Where did that rooster... They just ate the rooster. Oh, I wanted it. Oh... I'm so upset over that. No. The Lustro. Oh, be purple stone. Okay. I'm actually gonna not worry about that. What I'm gonna do is I just need one of these guys. I'm gonna put them in the... Yeah, this is fine. We're gonna make our tabbies vegetarians. I think that's a good plan. Wait. Hunters! Oh my god! Okay, um... Eat. Give me... Give me... Give me... Give me the thing... With the ting... I'll bring a ding ding the ting the ring... I, I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm gonna get Oski. Okay, so cool, we got two... Um, new slimes. Hunters and... Um... Rock slimes, why could I not remember that? That took me a while to recall. I can't get up there, can I? No, I can't. Oh! That's the door, though. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can get up there. Uh, can use a parkour and mastered skills of parkour. I said parkour twice when I need to. That is Hunter. Okay, actually, we can pop that door open, can't we? Thank you, sir. What? Wait. It's working? Maybe it's only up there. I don't know. Or maybe there's another one I have to activate. Oh, that could be it. That could be another one. I just can't access it right now. Huh. Alright. But oh. What is this? More horrors, okay. Okay, that's gonna be something to investigate later. I don't think we can go any further down this path. Well, at least that way. So let's check this way out. So what's going on this way? Woo! Oh, it's just flowers. Or, uh, more rock slimes, okay. I don't have any meat. No! Why do you keep coming when I don't have meat? This is cruel and unusual punishment. I think I fed all the chickens to the hunters, too. No! Ah, oh, you jerk. You keep coming when I'm not ready. Ah, oh, I'm so upset over that. You would not believe how upset I am. Uh, that's so upsetting. That is genuinely so upsetting. Hunter Gordo, okay. And then one angry Rock Largo. Foster Rock Largo, my head. It's gone now anyway, doesn't matter. Oh, and that's just a very dangerous path on this way. Okay. Well, I think it's been a pretty good turnout. We got some more access to some slimes. So I think what we're going to actually do is 
run back and actually, um... Is, is this the way back? I hope it's the way back, or else I'm just severely lost. It is the way back. So, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna head back to the farm, to the ranch, quickly, uh, do some work with Largos, and, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, so we're back at the ranch. I just introduced the rock slime with the tabbies, uh, with some of the tabbies, just to kind of get things started, get things rolling with them, try to merge them together if they don't want to keep jumping out, that is. Keep that. Yeah, okay. Sweet. And let me take a tabby, actually, and... Oh, yeah, they are... Uh, they might be a little hungrier than I thought they were, so let's, um... Let's figure that out really quickly. Um, yeah, so we'll have to get some food. These guys are hungry, I can tell, because they're jumping out of their corral to eat, so... Yeah. Uh, I kind of lost control of the farm a little bit, I guess, by being gone as long as I was. I guess I didn't really plan... Oh, not now. Because I didn't really plan things out like I should have, but hey, it's, uh, it's all good. It's all good. So, actually, um... Because of the hunter ports, we don't need these guys anymore, so, uh, we're just gonna quickly... And now, we're gonna grab ourselves some... Oh. Sure. We're gonna quickly grab ourselves some, uh, cotton slime, just because I think it'd be cool to have cotton tabby mixes. I don't know why. It, it helps to try to mix the carnivores with herbivores because the herbivores have much easier to maintain diets, whereas slimes like tabbies tend to want to use, um, well, eat your roostros, and that's not, um, it's not a game-winning strategy, in my opinion. It takes a little longer and a little more resources to feed them, so it's easier to mix them with lower, um, easier mains slimes, so, you know. Cottons are a good one because they eat vegetables. So do rock slimes. I should grab some chickens for the rock slimes now. I think I don't need you by the way. So uh yeah. Pop, 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 pop. And here you go. Something like that. I hope something like that. I just realized I could have really ruined the whole plan by introducing them without making sure the pen was clear because I could accidentally make a larger or not larger, a, a, a feral slime. Remember how always check before you do what I just did because uh, that could have ended much worse than it did. Why are you so. Eat! God, okay, that's the one thing I hate about Hunter Slimes. They are, just are aggressive. The second you make a Hunter Largo, it's aggressive. It's just angry as it can be. I don't... <sighs> I gotta grab a Heartbeat to feed them. I'll be right back. You know, if these grew just a little bit faster, <laughs> this, this process wouldn't be taking as long as it is. It's a... It's taking a while. Alright, I'm definitely glad I, uh, you know, give you guys a break from that, because, uh, that took a lot longer than I thought it would have. I mean, that took a lot, very much longer than you would have thought, or you would have hoped. So, yeah. Not exactly. Didn't go the smoothest. But hey, we did it. We got the heartbeats. So now we can start growing them for the tabby rocks. And we can even give them some of the heartbeats I got. How are these guys doing? They they probably should be fed. Yep, yeah, they need to be fed. Okay. Okay. Just 
Pack that up. Okay, nice. Got a pretty good payday out of that, I gotta say. So in the end, it was at least worth, you know, getting the heartbeats and doing all of that. Because now we can make a lot more money, which means we can do a lot more things. So, hey, I'm, I'm happy. Just, uh, definitely took a lot longer to do these things than I thought it would. But hey, it's fine. In the name of progress, it's fine. Oh boy, that was a lot of work. Alright, well, I think we're at a good spot here. You know, we got some established farming points so we can start making money. Farming points probably isn't a word. Or a term. You know, you know what I'm talking about, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, I think this is a pretty good spot. I think we got to a good area, guys. Um, Definitely more to explore in that area. I don't know what it's called, actually. What, what was that called? That was called... Oh, it's the conservatory. And that's where we're at. It's one of these. So definitely want more to explore at one of these locations. So yeah. I think we're going to call it there, guys. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe and hit that like button. I can't believe I did that plug. It's fine. Don't judge me for it. Like, I'm, I'm new to this. Alright. See you guys later.